to serve this present age, my calling to fulfill. May it all my power engage to do my master's will. Old Uncle Robert Shields used to say, a charge to keep I have, a good God to glorify, never dying soul to save, fit it for the sky. On this 10th day of January, in the year 2021, Ah, Albert Franklin Langster, submit to you the message that God has given me to deliver today. I'm going to mingle around in the book of Isaiah again today, looking at that 65th chapter, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter number 65, and I just selected a little phrase out of the 12th verse used as a text, uh, and it says there, Isaiah 65 and 12, when I call, ye did not answer. And God speaking through the prophet Isaiah. And this is about the year 659 B.C. Jesus had not made his formal debut or his formal appearance among mankind. He was still shrouded <laughs> in the mysteries of godliness and had not taken on human form, but he was there, but God says, when I call, ye did not answer. I've been calling in this new greater New Bethel Baptist Church for going on 15 years. Now, I can count the answers that I have received on my hands. But if I just get one reply, one answer to the call, my living will not be in vain. Subject for the message today is deaf ears. D-E-A-F, ears. And I want to open this message by saying, I want to open this message by announcing that there is hope. There's still hope. Jesse said, keep hope alive. Anybody that will hear and answer the call from God. There is no hope for the person that turns a deaf ear to God's call. But if you have a listening ear, there is hope for you. Isaiah 65 and verse 2 Verse 12 is the text, but verse 2 of Isaiah 55, God speaks and he says, I have spread out my hands all day uh, to a rebellious people who walketh in the way, who walketh in a way, in a way that is not but that was not God. They walk after their own thoughts. I better read that again. Isaiah 65 and 2 uh, says, I have spread, God says, I have spread out my hands uh, all day 
to a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not God, but after their own thoughts. My friends, I saw that this week. I saw a people, I saw a rebellious people, a people that did not walk in the way of God, a rebellious people. walked after their own thoughts. My friend, rebellious people have deaf ears. My daddy used to say to me, son, you better hear me. And there was no problem with my... <laughs> Uh, ears. <laughs> my problem was with my obedience. And he said, you better hear me. What that means is you best obey my instructions. Jeremiah 5 and 5 says, these all together have broken the yoke and burst the bonds, these rebellious people. They are yoke breakers and bond busters and are on uh, their way to destruction. They know not the way of the Lord. Jeremiah 5 and 4 says, their faces harder than a rock. Lest you think that this is a report or a treatise on a recent rebellion in the U.S. Capitol building on the 6th of this month in Washington, D.C., I must inform you that this is a 629 B.C. news story. Sin and rebellion is not new. Ruin, destruction, calamity, and judgment is in store for people with deaf ears, people with hard hearts. And so, in part one of our text, Isaiah 55 and 12, God threatens war upon sinners. Death by the sword is a promise. Why? The answer is in the text says, when I call, ye did not answer. Friend, God in Christ is calling you today. Now, please answer the call. Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart. Will you let him in? Let him in today. Let him in to stay. Mm. Let me shift gears and turn the page and get to the root of your problem. Yes, your problem. <sighs> your problem is that you were born in sin. Whether you know who your mother and father was or not makes no difference. You were born in sin. You were born wrong. And you need on the authority of the Bible 
that dialogue between Jesus and Nicodemus, he said, you must, you must be born again. You were born wrong. You need to be born right. Look at the first two children on earth. You may not have read your Bible and you may not have even heard about Cain and Abel. But they were the two first two children of Adam and Eve. First two children on earth. And these two men still speak today. That is, their deeds and their works speak. Still speak loud and clear. Just in case you don't know the story, Cain killed Abel. Mm. One brother killed another. One but two of them. Blood biological brothers had differences, not necessarily with each other, but they had differences in their purpose, differences in their motivations, their differences in their priorities. There were differences in their worship. You know what that word worship mean? <clears throat> the word worship is derived from the word worth, W-O-R-T-H. And our, the word worship means that we ascribe value to the thing that we worship or to the person that we worship. And Cain and Abel ascribed different values to God. And this is the basic root problem with people uh, in the world today. Cain gave God what was right. His brother Abel gave God what was wrong. One boy came to God in the acceptable way. The other boy came to God, gave God uh he came in the back door. And he gave God, he ascribed less value to God. That's what I'm trying to get to. So God had a different disposition as to about the two gifts that were presented by these two brothers. Now, here's the problem now. This is where hate comes from. This is where jealousy comes from. This is where evil comes from. And they all boiled up in Cain. Children, son of Adam. Problem still with us today. Our white brothers still want to kill us. Retired U.S. President John Quincy Adams said he took up a case to argue. He was a lawyer and he took up a case to argue to defend an African who was on a slave ship coming to America and there was a mutiny on the ship and this African led the uh, slaves to take over the ship and take it back to Africa. And they got arrested 
were trying to get their freedom. It's not funny. But that's the justice system that I know. Locks them up. Is trying to get back home to their freedom. It was in chains, but they broke the chains. John Quincy Adams said, I'm old, my teeth are falling out of my head, but I'm going to defend these Africans because they was in their own country, minding their own business, but were kidnapped, put in chains, taken away from home against their will. He won the case. Ah, but he was arguing with the USA court system for the freedom of slaves. <laughs> Locks up and put in jail. Taking over the slave ship. Trying to get back to the land that they were taken from, their homeland. <laughs> we're still locked up and put in jail for trying to get back to our roots. Can you hear the voice of God speaking to you in this hour? Can you hear? Or have you Turn a deaf ear to God's voice. God is calling. Will you answer? Please, somebody tell me what. Has a black race done to the white race to make them hate us so much? Hate it without a cause. God is calling, and you will not hear. And the consequences are grave. Consequences are serious. You and all sinners, all lawbreakers, stand in danger of the sword of God. He promised to put the sword to you. Will you come to God today? Acknowledge your sins and your faults. Repent. Say the sinner's prayer. Tell him. Write that letter to God. Tell him, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner. That's where you start. That's the starting point. Truth is the starting point. So I know that I'm a sinner, and I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross to forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry for all the wrong that I've done, and I ask you to forgive me. Moreover, tell him, moreover, I now accept your gift of eternal life. Tell him, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. And thank you for the new life that I can have in Jesus Christ. From this day forward, I choose to follow you in Jesus' name. Whew. Now, my friends, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence, with exceeding great joy to the only wise God, our Savior, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. 
both now and ever. Amen. My friend, turn a listening ear to God, not a deaf ear. On this 10th day, January 2020, open up your ears. Hear the word of the Lord. Goodbye.